not be surprised if all of a sudden I just decide to just do a voiceover. That's it. The noise. This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, follow. Leave it up to me to record a video probably at the business time around the block. Just noises everywhere. Noises. Everyone is getting home from work. Dogs are going crazy. I'm not even gonna justify them because they always going crazy, but that's besides the point. And yeah, if you don't hear about my voice, I'm very much still congested. It's going on four weeks, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And yeah, other than that, the theme today is yellow. I am drinking freshly pressed fine pineapple juice. Pineapple is a fine pineapple, yeah, sure it is. I'm drinking freshly pressed pineapple juice, matching my t-shirt, and yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything yellow like with makeup today though, but that's, that's it. it's spring. I have yellow flowers all around my house right now, so the color yellow is just really calling my name, okay? So yeah. But basically the focus of today's video is just going to be I need to find my little mumbo jumbo. I need to find my whole like makeup thing again because my face has changed a lot and I just don't feel like the same makeup that I used to do is not doing what it needs to do for my face more. So I'm trying to just look for I'm trying to look for like my signature look. Not eyeshadow base though. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to work on my face and this is going to be like my spring My spring makeup. Well, not really because it's hot as shit. I'm probably gonna be wearing makeup, but y'all know the drill Y'all know what I'm talking about. I want to find that makeup combination of products where I can just be like Every time I'm about to do something like I just know like I just know I haven't had that in a minute so we're gonna try and find that today. I'm using some edge control on my brows because why not? Um, do not be surprised if all of a sudden I just decide to just do a bit over. That's it. The noise. For the months that I haven't really been on here, I've been a base first type of girly, not even brows anymore. Like I like to go in with my face. So this is a Pretty Filter Skin Balm and this is from the brand Glossy. I think they changed the formula because the old one wasn't like this, but this is still very much good though. I'm going to opt for a matte look just because uh -huh, it's humid out here. And honestly, glossy is not necessarily what I need. Like, my skin can very much do that on its own. Okay. So then I'm going to use the Liquid Powder Pore Blurring Makeup Serum um, from Makeup Revolution. This is supposed to give you like super matte look. So we're going to have to see about that. You guys know how much I love my Kevin Daquan um, concealer. And I still very much do. But I do want to go in with an actual... Concealer, not necessarily like a brightening concealer, but an actual concealer concealer. And the Oma Beauty um, concealer in the shade Brown Sugar T1 is like perfect. Okay, like my eyes look very black because I put on mascara for like the first time in a minute yesterday. And y'all already know, it takes a couple of washes for this to go away. I feel like it's super dark and it's just because of the mascara. Like I'm really not that tired. Like, y'all girls been sleeping. This concealer is sort of very much empty, I under like I'm not really sure what I'm reaching for here, but oh well. So I'm just gonna let that cook sit for a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush. I think it's like an expert face brush. Um, just blend that out. Okay, so I feel like now I have like a more clean canvas for me to start. On. To dip into my Kevin Daquan concealer, and this is in the shade SX12, and this is like the perfect um, concealer yet highlighter shade for me. Uh, I really like this color. I normally don't drag my concealer all the way down, but I just feel like I look very tired today. Today's product not the best day for me to even do this video, but then again, 
Yeah. <laughs> then again, why not? You know, I like for my concealer to sit a little bit before I blend it out. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and continue underpainting um, using my contour shade from the Kevin Pond Concealer as well. And this is in the shade SX16, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this is in the shade SX16. So then I'm going to take a dense brush. This is the Sigma Extreme Structure Contour Brush F04. Dip the brush in there. Not too much because the little goes a long way. And then I'm just going to start contouring my face. I personally like to contour my face pretty high up. Like I like to, I like for my contour to go right underneath the highlighter pretty much. Obviously this very much depends on your face shape, like your structure, the structure of your face. Then I'm going to go ahead and start blending out my concealer and I'm using a brush for that. You can go ahead and just use a sponge if you like that. The inner part of my eye is the last thing that I blend out, okay? Um, so meaning I'm starting with the outer corners of my eyes. I might look weird right now, but it's all gonna come together. <laughs> it would all come together. For the past couple of months, for the past few months, it's been like a few months now, I've been in love with this foundation and I'm not really planning on switching it out anytime soon, okay? This is the Lancome, um, I don't know the name, but it's the latest foundation that they dropped a couple months ago. I love this and I'm in the shade um, 440, 440 neutral. I normally mix two shades but I gave one of the shades to my mom. This might be a little a tad bit red for me because I'm so pale. After coming back from Norway like I still haven't caught all my color yet. But we moved. So I put that everywhere I didn't conceal or contour. Okay, so it's definitely a little bit red for me. But I feel like the powder is gonna just make everything come together. I have yet to replace this. Like nothing can really replace this for me yet. Like I haven't found it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I'm in the shade, I'm not in the shade. This is the shade 130. Um, buff beige and I love that for the highlight against me under my eyes. I love this to set my under eyes. So I first go in with that powder and a brush, set my under eyes. And when I say set, like I really mean like I set the powder in, like set your under eye for real, for real. However, I want to say though, like be careful how you set your eyes because you want to make sure that you're not moving any product around like you want to make sure that you just set it so now that i set my under eyes and my highlighted areas and i'm going to go in with my powder concoction again like i'm not changing this product for anything like i'm not going to fix what's not broken i'm going to subset my smile lines because that's where my foundation separates um the most so i like to press that in and it is so seamless. Now for my absolute favorite part, bronzer. I'm using my Sigma Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep for a good amount of time now. I want to say almost like a whole year. Has it even been out for a whole year? I don't know. But for however long these, this product has been out, it's been, it's been my go-to. It's been like my fave. And just look at that. Come on. Sometimes I go a little bit overboard because a little bit goes a long way and I keep forgetting. So I'm taking the same bronzer and I'm going to start by defining my nose. I love blending this all the way up to my brow and right underneath my brow bone. Okay, so I'm taking the same bronzer and I'm going in with a all-purpose buffer brush from Sigma. This is not the bronzer, that's the blush. I'm going with the bronzer and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade on my eyes. Do we even use that anymore? Do people even say that anymore, like transition shade? 
we all just say like a brown shade to blend in the rest of the shade. Like I don't know if you know. And then I drag that like outwards. So then I'm going to use the Sigma Warm Neutral uh, Tiny Palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade called Toasty. It's like a, I don't know, like a nude beige kind of color. So now I go in with my powder concoction. And then I just take the sponge that I used earlier. And I'm, it's a triangle, like it's perfect. So I'm just going to put that right in the inner corner. Right here. Okay, so now that I put my lashes on, that took a little bit longer than expected. Uh, and I'm not even sure how I feel. Because half of our lashes is such a long time. But anyways, I'm just going to dust off the excess powder under my eye. I don't want to leave it on for too long. I'm going to go ahead and put on some brown liner and this is the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on eye pencil in the shade whiskey. I've been loving this for my lip life of all things. I'm gonna put actually no no I'm not I'm gonna use the black one this is also the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil this is in the paw in the shade perversion which is black and I'm just gonna line this right here just to blend and the lashes a little bit. I feel like my lashes are way too long. Like, I don't even want my lashes to be this long. I feel like my lashes are way too long. Just because I haven't worn lashes in such a long time. And like, I feel like my makeup is a little bit more toned down now. And these lashes are not toned down at all. But we move. We move. And we groove, okay? So what's missing now is definitely my favorite part, lips. Baby, what's wrong? You've already been outside. You ate. Like, I don't really know what it is that you want from me. I'm going to use the Oma Beauty Opposite of Dumbass Lip Liner in Davis. So this is Stone from MAC. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm it up on the back of my hand. I'm not overlining my lips, but I'm basically underlining my lips with this shade. Anyway, so I go ahead and put that. I normally would go in with like a clear gloss, but I want to try the Sigma Renew Lip Oil in the shade Tint. I like it. It really kind of like a bra to look together. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, what do I like? What don't I like? I'm not really happy with the brows. I could do a better job on the lip. I look and feel like I want to redo my lip. It looks a little bit too close to my skin tone right now. I don't know. I feel like I could do a better job with the lip. Maybe I should redo my lip. I think I'm going to redo my lip. Hold on. Because, yeah. For my lip, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Pencil in the shade Whiskey, which is what I use on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with Stone again, but I'm only going to use that right here in the center. For my lipstick, I'm using the Latte from Makeup Revolution. Well, I don't know what's going on with my lips today. Like, they're not coming out as I want them to. And I don't like that. It looks a little bit better. And then top it off with the same lip oil. Ya esta bueno. Ya esta bueno. Ya este look. And this is the look. We're done. I don't know, I feel like the lip is still very close to my skin tone, but we move and we groove, you guys. This is today's look. This is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it was, I needed, I needed this like sit down, do my makeup, chill vibes, relax type of thing. Like I really needed this, I needed this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys um, enjoy the rest of what's left of this month. And I see you guys in the próximo video. Bye!